Firefighters are the frontline responders in case of a fire. In today's short video, we'll be demonstrating the best and efficient method for a firefighter to be ready. The firefighter's outfit on board your vessel might be slightly different. There will be firefighter's boots, the firefighter's suit, the firefighter's gloves, firefighter's belt and of course the lifeline. You should start getting ready by wearing the lower half of your firefighter's clothes. Once strapped in and both the loops are above the shoulders, it's time to wear the upper half. Ensure that you're properly zipped up or hooked as the case may be. Now it's time to wear the firefighter's boots. The boots generally have two loops to help wear them. Tuck your firefighter's suit over the boots. After the boots, it's time to wear the firefighter's belt. The firefighter's belt is generally equipped with a hatchet and a torch. Moreover, the lifeline can also be fixed on this belt if required. Just ensure that you wear the anti-flash hoods over your head onto your neck, for the time being at least. Hold the visor in your hand to ensure that the lip of the visor is neat and clean that will sit against your face. Hold the pressure gauge in your hand. Open two to three turns of your BA set apparatus bottle. Ensure that the pressure in the bottle is about 200 bars. Close the BA set bottle valve and observe the pressure drop. The pressure should not drop more than 10 bars in one minute. Place the mask against your face and take a deep breath. And this is also a great time to perform the low pressure and whistle test. Put the face mask strap over your neck so that the face mask is hanging freely. Grab the back plane, slide it above your head, onto your back, hold both of the shoulder straps, lean forward, give your body a churn and tighten the shoulder belts. And finally, make fast and tighten the waist belt. Open the SCBA cylinder valves using your left hand and wear the face mask. It's a good idea to tighten the head straps first followed by the chin straps and finally the forehead strap. Ensure that the face mask is resting firmly against your face. Once comfortable, pull your anti-flash hood above your head and start breathing normally. Adjust the face mask in case it's required. Wear your helmet on top of the anti-flash hood. Adjust the helmet as required and tighten its straps. Once comfortable, it's time to wear your walkie-talkie and connect your walkie-talkie to your helmet speakers and microphone. Test the communication to ensure that you can hear and transmit properly. Once all of these things are done, it's time to wear the firefighter's gloves finally. And you are ready to fight any fire.